I'd like to tell you a story today called The Dreamer. Deep in the forest lives a yogi who spends his day breathing with Mother Nature. He is at peace with Mother Nature and realizes that his body is a temporary shrine or a temple to his real self, which is a thread that is attached to eternity in all things. He walks through the woods and feels a deep sense of oneness with all living creatures. Even the rocks and mountains are all a part of his basic nature. The air and sky also speak to the yogi and tell him to open his eyes and be at peace with all. The flowers shine, reach for the light, brightening his every move. The yogi meditates and realizes to be a good person and to do good things is his duty. He sees Mother Nature and all of creation as a reflection of himself. The yogi knows everything outside of himself to the ends of space is equal to everything inside himself and realizes that he exists as swirling energy, combining and dissolving right before his very eyes. One day on a walk, a bird flew up on a cactus and said, Oh dear yogi, I have been sent to you as a messenger to tell you that you have been chosen to lead us here on earth from darkness to light. How am I going to do that? asked the yogi. You are going to bake a loaf of your delicious bread with all the love in your heart. You will then present it to an Israeli who will give it to an Arab who will in turn give the Israeli an oil lamp. At this time, you cut the bread, butter the bread, and give a slice to each of you. Share the bread in trust of good commerce and trade, respect each other as equals, and know that all are the children of God. It is our duty to make the world a better place. The bird flew off, and the yogi was astonished at what just happened. Can I do this, he thought? Yes, I can. And now I will go for a swim to prepare my body for the journey. While he was swimming, a turtle swims up and says, Oh, dear yogi, you have a beautiful journey ahead of you. You will go to this troubled border and show the world that one loaf of bread can change the world if given with love and trust. It is just that simple. And the turtle swam off. After his swim, he was on shore meditating, and a toucan flies up and says, Oh, dear yogi, bake your bread with love in your heart for all of mankind, for all of Mother Nature's creation is counting on you to preserve our great planet. We must have peace on Earth to preserve our cultures and history. All life forms should be held sacred and not used unjustly. When you bake this bread and share it with these troubled neighbors, there will be a peace generated which will last. These two great nations are tired of fighting and killing. It is not necessary. Now is the time to respect traditions, exchange cultures, and nothing else. The toucan flew off and the dolphins began singing. He's going to make peace with just one loaf of bread. It's just that simple. We can solve our problems together. Our children are counting on us. Now the yogi lays down for a nap and has a dream. He dreams of going to the border, baking the bread. He gives it to the Israeli, who gives it to the Arab, who gives him the oil lamp. The yogi cuts the bread, butters the bread, and shares a slice with each. Good relations are established, and they trade swords in good faith, trust, and respect. People believe in the power of good commerce and trade. Both people benefit, and order is established. The two nations let the past remind them that the future is based on trade and respect and nothing else. After getting up from the dream, the yogi is overwhelmed with the power of the dream. He believes that such a ceremony televised around the world would change the future. People would feel the sharing, respect, and love of this neighborly act and they would mend these broken bonds that has lasted since our time began. As he walks home, he meets a friend and tells him of the dream. Who tells a friend, who tells a friend, who tells a friend. A few days later, a famous movie producer arrives and tells the yogi, I will make a movie about the ceremony as if it were real. I will release it around the world and it will be the biggest, most popular movie in history. Everybody, everybody wants the movie to be real and it becomes reality. All of Mother Nature's creation celebrates and the world begins to solve its problems together. This one act of love and kindness is all it takes as long as we believe in what is right and do good things for all. 
The End, The Dreamer. Thank you. Now, take a minute and share this with your friends, and let's make the world a better place. Thanks. Bye-bye.